This video here is showcasing the 2D Trimble Earthworks system. So this is on a John Deere 250G excavator. Uh, this thing has an Incon tilt rotator on it with an 80 inch bucket. So right here, I'm just gonna kinda go through a couple things, so attachments. Pulls up the attachment screen. I can pick from these different attachments that I have. So right now, 80 inch width tilt rotator is what I'm gonna do. So then select. So then my bucket focus is down here. So I got left, center, or right. So I'm gonna keep it on the right. What I'm gonna do is this subdivision has curb and gutter. So we're gonna base our bottom of footings off of our curb and gutter elevation. So we pick a spot on the curb and gutter, we paint a mark, we want that to be our benchmark. So for this particular one here, we're gonna bench this off of the curb and we're gonna bench it just right here, like touch a button, bench elevation success. See this down here, it says zero. So it's on the right side, it says zero. I've got my buzzer on, so it's like having a grade stick in my, in my cab. Then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna come over here, this thing has a laser catch on it. So it's on the stick. I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna catch the laser. So right here it says laser strike auto accepted. So now I want to change this. I want to go into here. So hit that. So I'm going to go into memories. So memories. Then I want to be 366 below the curb. So I want to touch that one. Then I want to go done. It comes up here, 366 negative. So right here, there's my grade. I'm going to come down 366. So I'm going to go to apply. So now what I want to do is I want to walk over and I want to get set up. So as I'm walking over and I'm going to get set up over here, after I set myself up, I want to repass through the laser so it recalibrates for my plus or minus of my grade. So where my machine was sitting at. So essentially, I just take the bucket, come back down here, I want to pass through that laser again. So right here, it's going to say laser strike auto accepted. So here you got the 670. So I want to go down 670, but that's because my bucket is curled up. So as I uncurl my bucket and come over here to my grade, now my laser strike auto accepted. So now it's my grade is where I'm at. So I want to pull this in and you can see pulling that in by just just manually there but let's just say I want to go to autos okay so in here I go to this I go to auto mode so now arm autos so I want to arm the autos I want to do depth and tilt so tilt rotator I can go depth and tilt or I can go depth only or I can go tilt only so let's just say depth tilt depth and tilt whatever so let's just go depth and tilt I'm gonna go apply it so now I have to confirm my depth and then I have to confirm my tilt. So now auto activation is all successful. So now if I want to start digging, what I want to do is just reach out here, cut down, and I want to start digging. So I'm throwing my material out of the way, the loader will come pick it up. So I want to go one section of my basement to grade here. You can see I'm tilting it a little bit here and there. So I'm gonna reach over here. I'm pretty close to my grade right now. So as I'm digging, it's telling me where I'm at, but really what I'm doing is I'm watching the machine, but because I have the buzzer set up, it tells me when I get close. And I can adjust the elevations, the buzzer, when the buzzer comes on, when it starts sounding. And so I can adjust the elevation of it. So I can, I can set it finer, I can set it not as fine, whatever. So I'm gonna reach out here and I can, you can see that I'm really close. 
So over here, I gotta go down right here, I'm close. So now, I'm gonna auto both, and I'm coming in. It stays a little bit high, so I want to go back and touch it up. So I reach out here like this, so you can see it's pulling in autos, and it's keeping me right, right close to grade coming across. And over here, I've got to go up a little bit more. So that right there was an autos pass. Reaching over here. Put it back into the loader bucket. Then I'm coming back over into here. Reaching out here like this. So now I want to do both of them. So see it's out here tilted outside the measurable range. So all I gotta do is just roll it in just a little bit until that orange goes away. And then I want to put it in autos. And see I'm I'm close. So I auto both of those. As I'm coming in, it's keeping me on grade. So you guys can see that there. Same with over here. So now I want to put in right here. I don't want to come into grade. So this you can see, I accepted it all over again because we'll just do that as I'm passing through the laser. But, so that there is pretty much how it goes. You can see how fast, how slow I'm pulling in. If you don't have any dirt in there, sometimes it wants to hop on you. So you put a little dirt in your bucket, you can put it out there, and you can start coming in on grade. So it's coming in now, see how it's hopping a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it was hopping because it didn't really have any material in the bucket. So we're going in, so now our grade is, is, pretty, much, is pretty much there. So I put my bucket down, I'm right close to grade, within a, within a tenth, five hundredths. So right here we've got to go down anyways, we're actually a little bit low because we've got to do an over X on this one here. So over here I come back in, come down, engage my automatics, and you can see it coming in there all on its own. coming and doing this all this automatic stuff here it's it's only really as good as the operator is so there's there's my grade and I'm a little high on that one side so I just gotta touch it up a little bit there because I've got the bucket a little bit out of flat but all I have to do really is come down into here set this to grade now I'm coming across, and it's keeping pretty much right there at grade. So that was, that's 15, 18 feet of, of, a, of a pass, just right there. So then I come over here, and I'm gonna dig this out. So I come in, come through the, the frost, Back over here, I don't want to hit the back of my counterweight on the chunk of dirt sticking up. Come back around. So here, I'm going to come down, I'm going to get through the frost. So this 2D system is really good for basement digs if they're already laid out. If they're not already laid out then you have to get a you have to get a a model done and a couple other things done. And sometimes for the smaller guy it's just not as it's it's not as as uh, convenient as the 2D is. Sometimes the 2D is just 
just perfect for the smaller guys who don't have time to, to model stuff out. So you can see right here, everything's pretty much level all the way across. So I've got to go down and I get into my grade here and I just pull it in autos and it comes in. If you don't want the autos, you don't have to have the autos. The autos are just something that, that, is, that is good to have. Um, makes you more efficient. But this way you don't have to worry about having a labor. Autos are not. You don't have to have a labor down there checking grade for you. You don't have to wait on the labor to check grade for you. You can actually have that labor go and do something else. Let's say another crew. I'm going to take care of helping another crew to get their job done. Or what about having them go do a final grade for you? Or, you know, something like that. That's That for us is where this whole triples system really comes into play really well for us because it frees up our guys to where they can go do other stuff for us and be productive and make us money in other areas and and those are the things that we really look forward to when we're doing something like this is our return on our investment doesn't just work just right here it actually works better when we're doing a little bit of everything. So, this system is really good. It works really well. It works for 3D for us. It works for 2D. Most people, I have two machines set up like this. The return on investment for us is right around three months on a, on a 2D system just because I can utilize my guys somewhere else. I'm not trying to fire guys, I'm not trying to get less guys, I just want to utilize my guys in, in, in the right way, in the most effective way. And for us, that most effective way is actually getting them out there, keeping them with our crews, and keeping them busy so they can provide for their families as well. So hopefully this video was informative and uh, you can see how it works off that monitor. Uh, thanks for watching.